22 states sending out higher bonus benefits next month. I have all the details and the entire list right here in this video, so let's get into it right now. But if you haven't done so yet, or if you're new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button right down below the video so I can keep you updated each and every day with all of this information that is changing very rapidly. I know that it's very confusing trying to determine what is actually going on, what pertains to you, and what programs are out there that you can take advantage of. But don't worry, that is why I'm here doing all the research on your behalf and my commitment to you and this community as a whole is to be here so that you can stay tuned with all these updates as well as make sure that I'm helping you get as much money, benefits, and anything else we can possibly get our hands on right now during this very difficult time. So again, thank you so much for joining me. I truly do appreciate it. I am your one and only daily advocate and I'll continue to be here for you every single day as that is my promise to you. All right, let's get into this. And once again, thank you so much for being here. I really do appreciate it. All right. So first off, a huge congratulations for those of you who received your new higher benefits starting today from SSI. Amazing, right? So I hope that you were able to check out your bank account, maybe your direct express card or wherever you receive your benefit, but you should have received your new higher benefit as of today going into the new year. So wow. Congratulations, right? Very exciting. I'm sure that that comes as a nice relief for a lot of people. Again, I know that it's not a stimulus check. I know that it's not a lot of money, but at the same time, at the end of the day, it is still something that's a little bit more and it will help all of us, right? Even if it's $10, $20, $30, whatever it happens to be, it all helps right now. So that went out today for those of you who receive SSI, Supplemental Security Income. Congratulations. All right. But let's keep uh, talking about this a little bit further here. And let's talk about these benefits and the new higher boost that is going to be sent out between 22 states going into this next month. Now, a couple days ago, I was out in a video and said that there are 22 states that have just announced that they're going to be sending out higher SNAP benefits in January. By the way, SNAP is Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program. Some people call it food assistance, nutrition assistance. A lot of times it is also called... Um, food stamps. Either way, it's all referring to the same thing, which is SNAP, right? The Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program. However, 22 states will continue to send out these higher benefits going forward. Now, these benefits were actually supposed to end the end of September this year. Well, 2021, we're practically in 2022. So let's just say in this past September. However, there are many states out there that continue to extend these out even further, which is actually really nice. So, According to this information, the new minimum benefit uh, in accordance with these 90, or sorry, these uh, 22 states right now is $95 each and every month. That's the new minimum benefit for these states. They continue to send out this higher benefit. However, the average benefit going out right now for the individual is over $200 every single month. That's pretty nice, right? Uh, $200 would certainly help a lot of people right now with all of these rising prices with groceries. But then again, remember just a couple days ago, I was also out in a separate video. And unfortunately, there's a new report that came out talking about all of these higher prices in the new year. So as I mentioned a couple days ago, if there's any way that you can get out before the end of the year here and actually get out and get some groceries, things like that, you're probably going to save yourself a couple percent depending on what you're talking about. As I mentioned in one of the reports a couple days ago, anywhere between 2% and 20% is what these uh, food prices are going to be going up depending on the products, right? Um, some of the meat products going up by 20%. That's massive. Other items, you know, cereals, condiments like uh, ketchup and mustard, you know, all that kind of stuff, the fun stuff that we squeeze all over the top of our food, <laughs> that stuff. Um, there's a lot of different products that are going up in the new year by anywhere between two and 20%. So if there's any way you can get out between now and then, you might be able to save yourself, you know, a little bit of money. So by the way, we absolutely did that, by the way. So <laughs> we got a, we got some, we, my, my, my uh, wife went out and did some shopping uh, right away. So we had to get a, a little order in right before the end of the year here just to, you know, obviously we don't want to pay more than we have to um, if we can get in and do that. So uh, we definitely did that as well. Um, but anyway, so I want to bring my wife in, Corey, and she's going to be reading this list of the 22 states so that you can know which of these states are actually going to be moving forward with this new higher minimum benefit uh, going 
going forward into the next month here. So like I said in my video a couple days ago, I would come back with a list and let you uh, read that list to you so that you can see all of these states participating in this new hire raise going into the next month. And just remember too, there's 22 states as of right now. At any given time, we could get another announcement from any number of states coming out saying, you know, concerning the, the, the circumstances right now, the current landscape, everything going on, we're going to continue to send out our extra benefits as well. So I'll keep you posted as we get more information. But right now we do know the current landscape is a little tough out there right now with everything going on, right? So it wouldn't be surprising at all to see more states stepping up and uh, helping out with their residents and all of this going forward. One more thing too, if you are a low income individual, again, everybody's definition uh, is a little bit different for low income, but let's just say this much. If your income is below about $16,000 or maybe even $20,000 a year, whether you're receiving it from social security, SSDI, retirement, SSI, VA, or maybe low income, you probably want to look into applying for SNAP if you have not done it yet. You may just want to look into it. I'll give you the quick phone number here. If you want, you can give this phone number a call. It is a kind of like a national number where you call it. It's an automated system. Um, you know, the operator person comes on and says, you know, something like, what, which state are you in? You say, hey, I'm in Arkansas or I'm in Texas. I'm in I uh, Iowa, Ohio, New York, whatever state you're in, doesn't really matter. And then it'll direct you to your local office. And then you can talk to somebody there about applying. But like I've said before, this is usually a program that many people uh, who are actually eligible for, for benefits may not even know that you're eligible for these benefits. So you may wanna look into it and you could possibly be getting, you know, $20 a month, $50 a month, $100, $200 a month to help you with your groceries. I don't know, it might be worth it. But again, I don't know your exact situation, but if you're somebody with an income under about $16,000 or $20,000 a year, you might want to look into it because you probably are going to be eligible. Now, again, there's more um, more um, things that go into the, actually the application process. Uh, but again, that's at least a good starting point with your income. That's a pretty big factor right there, as well as assets and other things like that. But you might want to check it out. But anyway, let me quickly give you that phone number and then I'll get off of here and let uh, Corey come in and read that list to you. The phone number is one 800 2215689 again this is for a snap it's this number you'll call it and then uh, it'll direct you to your local office after you tell them which state you're located in again 1-800 2215689 and feel free to look that number up online to qualify that I'm giving you an accurate number. I've called it many times myself, and yes, it is accurate, but again, feel free to check it out if you want, um, just to actually qualify that I am giving you the right number. So feel free to do that if you'd like to. Otherwise, uh, check out that number. Otherwise, look up SNAP. It's a great program, and uh, you can maybe be getting some food benefits on an ongoing monthly basis. All right, so with that being said, I'm gonna bring my wife in, Corey. She's gonna quickly buzz through this quick article and this list of 22 states for you to actually look through and, if you're located in one of those states, these are the states that are participating in the new higher benefit going into the new year, January. So with that being said, thank you so much for watching. I will not come back at the end of the video because you don't need to see me again in this video. Corey will sum it up in this little clip right here. It's only about two minutes long. So make sure to subscribe down below. If you haven't done so yet, share this video and go back and check out some of the other 2000 videos right here on the channel. Thank you so much, Corey, take it away and I'll see you again in the next video. New Year Help, food stamp claimants in 22 states to get at least $95 extra each in January. See if you're eligible. Almost two dozen states have at once extended emergency food stamp support. The extension comes as the COVID pandemic continues throughout the country. Back in April 2021, the U.S. Department of Agriculture announced that an extra $1 billion per month has been allocated to the SNAP program. This program is also widely known as food stamps. These funds provide an increase in benefits to an estimated 25 million people in low-income households that are struggling to put food on the table due to the continuation of the COVID-19 pandemic. While the amount of extra money eligible families may receive generally depends on family size, $95 is the minimum households must be given. The $95 increase was scheduled to expire in, on September 30th, 2021. However, some states have extended the monetary support. Below are the 22 states that have opted to extend the benefits through January of 2022. Alabama, Georgia, Hawaii, 
Illinois, Iowa, Kentucky, Maine, Maryland, Michigan, New Jersey, North Carolina, Ohio, Oklahoma, Oregon, Pennsylvania, Rhode Island, South Carolina, Virginia, Washington, West Virginia, Wisconsin, and Wyoming. Additional states may choose to acknowledge a benefits extension in the coming days. Who is eligible for food stamps? According to the USDA Food and Nutrition Service, the average SNAP benefit per month in 2021 was $210.07 a month. However, a person's benefit amount and eligibility varies from state to state. To find out if you're eligible, you'll need to find a local SNAP program and social services agency to begin the application process. In addition to SNAP, the Food and Nutrition Service, FNS, offers 15 nutrition assistance programs.